There goes squirrel. <laughs> oh, he almost got it. But he actually got a squirrel like two days ago. <laughs> okay, good morning to you. Well, I'm Robin from Southern Latitudes and today we have a big task. Not too big actually, but um, I have got to get these grapevines in the ground and um, it's going to be a little bit of a mess over here because I actually have the eggplants kind of exactly right where I need to on this post uh, for this one. Actually, I probably should walk through here. Probably should weed stuff. Shouldn't have planned the eggplants right there, but essentially right there is where it's going to go. Oh yeah, there's room. We can still get it in there. Okay, so that one is going to be the Concord, and don't ask me why, but I was thinking of like airport Concords, and so uh, usually they're like travel throughs, uh, so that's what made me think to do that. Now, I, I, I don't actually know if that's a real definition, but in my mind it is. So that's where we're putting the Concord grape. Then I have the Niagara grape, which makes me think of Niagara Falls. So we're gonna have it cascade along the back. That's my thinking. And well, um, yeah, I don't know for sure that any of these are going to, are actually like gonna work. I'm gonna put it right here for right this moment. I gotta clean out this corner. A lot of things. We'll do that in just a second. Well, I don't really know if either of these varieties are going to work in Florida heat. They sold them in Florida, but that doesn't, as you probably know, that doesn't mean it's going to work here. They sell a lot of things here for the Florida gardener that don't necessarily work here. Oh, I got to get the sun out of my eye. So we're going to need a couple tools, some gloves, a shovel, and maybe a little hand rake or something like that just to help me you know get through some of that that vine i'm not going to worry too much about cleaning out these beds so let me just tell you yesterday we had 25 mile per hour sustained winds with 45 mile per hour gusts so i wanted to do this project yesterday and there was no way that was going to happen out here with those winds and so I've tried to get up early, but we, had, we already had a big distraction. Jack's alarm didn't go off. So I'm not out here at 7, and I think it's 8.15, 8.30 now. But, and the winds are starting to pick up again. And then they should die down for tomorrow. But I still just want to, if nothing else, get this done. Um, we're hoping to put the post in. My son should be here in about two, two and a half hours put the post in and then maybe you know take down the wire or something once the winds pick up over here take down some wire over here on the old coop and get that off to the dump so because I got to go up towards town well okay let's let me get the tools I was thinking about it I I also have a rose that needs placing so I'll be thinking about that as I'm doing this work so I got my gloves on I don't think there's too much thorny stuff, but just in case. And one of the first things, okay, I had a Catawba, I think, a uh, grape. That was a Florida friendly grape that was sitting here. And after a whole year, just, you know, being in a pot and I forgot about it, it died. It was a clearance item, so I didn't lose a lot of money on that. But anyhow, nonetheless, I just didn't do it. Here is my um, Roselle and it has a lot of dried seeds in it. So we're gonna keep that. I'm gonna put that aside carefully so I don't lose the seeds. And then um, I'll go through and capture those seeds. Let's just get a lot of this. This weed is everywhere in my life. <laughs> Especially this garden, this and North Garden. This Asiatic dayflower. Let's move back. Watch your eyes, buddy.
Whew, I'm already working up a little bit of a sweat. All right, at least we got the area cleared. And I don't need flannel now. Whew, I just need to get my heart pumping. Okay, next thing. I do have a drip line that goes to this area. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run the drip over to this. I need like about a foot deep on this hole. Even though I don't expect these to fruit, and they probably won't even grow more than half this pole, but I do want to get them in the ground and get them training. So what I'm doing is we pick this vine. Um, it not because it had this section. You, can you see how that goes out? I don't care about that. In fact, that's coming off. What I want is this vine where it's going to go up towards this post. So I want to be sure to place it in here with it going this way. So let's see how. Hopefully this comes out pretty easily. Oh, very easily. But... Look at those beautiful roots on it. Yeah, these are a lot better. You know, I've done bare roots before and then it takes three, four years and I thought to myself, I'd probably have cut off a year, if not two, you know, by buying something a little bit more established. Now these were on clearance. They say $14.99, but I think we paid $9.99 for these big, beautiful vines. Oh, that's perfect. Right at ground level. But he knows when the electrical machines are on, when cameras are on. Don't watch my eyes. Okay. Plant it high, it won't die. Well, I didn't fertilize it, but that's okay. They've actually been fertilized in the container before. Now, let's go ahead and take off these two sections. I don't want it to waste energy with trying to grow outward. I want it all to go right inward to this tree. Oh, I guess I should have, could have cut this off too, maybe. Hmm. Should I do that? Maybe I should do that. Yeah. Let's cut this. And this. Now it's going right to putting all of its energy into going this direction into the post. Perfect. I'm going to leave the tag there. And in case I forget which one I put where. And then I'll put my drip line back in. That's perfect. There's a drip right there. Oops. Get that root out. And get this right back. Did you hear Buddy growl? He was going after the squirrels. Okay, there we go. We got water going to it. Perfect. I, I love this. Okay, so I'm first going to pull this melon zane out because... It could come back, but I don't really need this variety. And it was a bug attractor. And so I'm going to pull out that eggplant. I want to leave the azwad and the, um, which I think is this one. And then I want to leave the purple shine over there. Which... No, we had a little problem. So I started a hole right here in front of the post. And it turns out... There's like massive roots down there. I don't even know how we got the post in. Tons, big roots. And then, so I went to go this way, more big roots. Maybe the same system, right? And here's a little bit of another root. And so, forgive me for breathing hard, I'm bending over after breakfast. So anyhow, the only place I had to go was here, which is okay, it's on the drip line. 
and then I'll just train it over to this post. But boy, did I have to have a change of plans. Okay, so we have the same thing going on with the Concorde, where you have the main root over here, and then you just have whatever this is going on here. And so I'm gonna end up taking all of this off and just face this one in this direction towards the post. Let me go ahead and take those off before I poke my eyeball. Sometimes you gotta be very, very careful, okay? I'm gonna put it a little bit crooked. Hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, it's a little high on this side, but that's okay. We're gonna build it up. Make sure you get the soil deep into the sides. I'll probably lose this eggplant too. I don't know, maybe eggplant, eggplants are pretty resilient. So maybe I won't lose it, but. There we go. Looks a lot better. Make sure you tuck it in. Oh, there's a little, I don't know if you can see that, it's sort of like a wormy centipede. Cool, and then, I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully you can. Here's that purple shine eggplant. It got away from me. Actually, I got three of them in here getting away from me. This is purple shine. We'll just put that right there. And I have a Antigua right here. That's beautiful. And I had another Antigua right here. My goodness, if you need some eggplant, y'all hit me up. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't think you can ship this. <laughs> there we go. First project done, kind of weirdly, but done. Oh, which reminds me, my app, my uh, calendar alarm did go off, say to, to fertilize fruit trees. But I probably won't fertilize these, but I do need to water them in. Buddy, you thirsty? What's your whistle? <laughs> Did I say something you recognize? Oh my goodness, I turned around and realized that I had one more thing I needed to transplant and that was the white peach that um, I was gonna wait and mow the grass, but I haven't. But the ground is probably nice and soft uh, from you know the rains we've had, so there's no time like the present. Let me just get this done, knocked out. Okay, I've gone way past what I thought I was gonna do when I took the peach out of there. I was like, oh, that leaves me a beautiful hole right there. So I put the, the peace rose. Let me show you it, in case you didn't see the earlier video. That's a peace rose that I got at Lowe's. And um, it's already, put, it was just sort of like bare root, but it's already putting on growth. I was like, I got to get this in the ground. So that'll go beautiful. I got irises, I've got marigolds, um, sometimes zinnias and sunflowers will pop up or I'll put them in here so the rose will be beautiful and this is the smoothie garden and that's because it started with pineapple and blueberries um, but I couldn't get the blueberries to work so now it's mangoes and pineapples and then just other you know various flowers but then over here I went ahead I was like oh let's empty out another container so this one had a jelly fig which came from this original plant and um, I'm like let me just get it out of the container let's just group them all kind of together and then um, over here is the dwarf everbearing mulberry baby and um, this is doing really good look oh sorry look at the root system on it it's doing really good but to be quite honest with you I'm not sure that I really, I was gonna put it here, right? 
but I also have a black mulberry. And I think I'd rather put the black mulberry in here or around here. Uh, yeah, I might actually put it right here towards, you know, bring it out a little bit. And um, I might put the black mulberry in here. Ooh, I don't know, that's pretty tight spacing. Oh, decisions, decisions. Because I know the black mulberry gets huge right now. Now that I think about it, I'm not, I might have a couple irises in here, but mulberries go in smoothies, don't they? I mean, we should maybe think about here. And it can, you know, they're kind of thin and spindly and they grow tall. It, I don't think it affect anything else in here, like the bay laurel or the rose. I think I'll put the baby mulberry right here. Yeah, and then it can just kind of take up this whole space. Sorry, I'm totally distracted. I heard the trap go off, but I don't see anything over there. Maybe a squirrel was trying to get in there, but he's investigating. Oh. It's been sitting for days, like a week actually, really, without setting anything at all, off at all. Huh. But it's definitely shut. Okay, so I feel like I'm playing musical chairs with my fruit trees. <laughs> well, all my trees, the roses to the peach. Peach came out, rose went in. Uh, I didn't put the little mulberry anywhere where I said I was going to put it. Oh, well, where I was thinking I would put it. Um, I accidentally messed up. I, I pulled the lawnmower out just to cut the grass that was over here. Because I thought maybe I'd put the jelly fig over there, but I actually like this walkway. And yes, I'm going to trim back these pineapples, but anyhow, I ended up... Uh, the lawnmower sucked up one of my gloves and killed it. Uh, so, and that was like one of my favorite pairs, like heavy leather for a hard workout here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these are done. Um, nothing's left in here. And I'm not going to make a decision on the blackberry yet. It's nice. I'm kind of clearing out the things that were underneath my grow table here. Oh, I got, man, I got to get in here with a weed whacker. This is my, my pile of uh, empty pots. I got to make decisions on. I'll probably, I'm saving that soil. But yeah, it's time to clear out everything under here. This is all, that had a Daro, Daro wee blueberry in it. It died. Yeah, I'm just, I tell you, I'm zero for a lot on the blueberries there. One of the last things I need to do before my son arrives to help me with this, um, we're gonna put up a new trellising system uh, this, well, this week for uh, the blackberries. And, you know, they usually bloom, I know some people get them to bloom around April, but I have found that because these are in a little bit of the shade of the food forest, you can see some sun coming through but they get a tremendous amount of shade. And so before he gets here to do that, I have got some untying to do and I can probably pull these posts. I'm, I'm gonna try to get this main vine. I don't know, they oh, they need some definite, definite training and trimming, cleaning up, getting all this ready for him to just walk in and put the posts in. As far as I'm concerned, if he just puts one there and then puts one over here, I'm good. I don't need the middle one. We can cut out the middle man. <laughs> and that way we'll just be able to put two really strong, uh, sort of like, um, is it a steel cord cable or something like that? We'll put those on in there and then train the blackberries onto them. And that'll eliminate this wobbliness and it's just unattractive things that we're not liking. So, um, and as it gets bigger, it's gonna need more support. And it's already kind of fading under the support that it has.
Well, you guys, patience has never been one of my strong suits. Um, so not that I'm impatient with people, but um, I love, you know, if, I, if there's a job I think I can do, I'll do it. And I said, I'll just try a couple little spots, you know, a couple uh, post hole digs, like individual things. And I thought, I'll just do a couple to show them where the holes are gonna be. And then the next thing I said, oh, my thumb's not hurting, my million dollar thumb I just had surgery on at the end of November. And then I was like, huh, this is not hurting me at all. <laughs> you know, over there, it kind of hurt me, but um, I guess I must have just thrown it down into the hole the wrong way and I did twinge my thumb. But anyhow, um, I didn't have any problem getting the first one in. It's really close to this pine, but there was absolutely no roots um, in my way. I, I might've cut like a little th thin one about the size of my thumb or pinky. So, and then over here was pretty much the same. I had a couple of them that were that small. And so here's the blackberry and uh, the post is in. Now the rest, I am gonna need help with. Plus, I don't know if you can hear it, but the winds are picking up. So it's a good thing I was a little impatient. I'll just tell my son he doesn't have to do this. I am gonna, probably not today, but I'm gonna have him take this beauty berry out over here that's way too big for its own good. And, um, but I, I don't want anybody working underneath these trees. So we're gonna hurry up and finish out this video. I am so thankful the posts are in. Jack will have to figure out, well, I gotta secure those bottoms a little bit better, put some water in there, make sure there's no air pockets. But then we're gonna determine the height and he can cut it wherever it needs to be. Who knows? And, um, you know, maybe like two cable wires, like about to here to here, like that. So I don't know that I need the top foot and a half or so, but who knows what we'll do. Maybe I'll put bird feeders out here. Maybe that's what I'll do. No, that would not be good with berries underneath them. Uh, but anyhow, well, it was a nice thought for about one second. We have played musical chairs with enough things out here. And I'm sure this video is getting long too on top of it, but I got my goal, which was to get the post in and I did it myself even more yay. So. Anyhow, you guys, that's where we're gonna end it. I'm gonna get inside and start editing this video. So you guys take care, God bless. Stay with me, I'm sorry we didn't get to finish this project all in one day, but stay with me. We're gonna get some of those um, wires and um, I'll take you along for the second part of that. All right, take care, God bless, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.